The Big Tell is a short documentary film contest for Central Valley filmmakers of all levels, where 10 winners are selected. It's put together by the James B. McClatchy Foundation, the Central Valley Community Foundation, and the Community Media Access Collaborative. Really the goal of The Big Tell is to tell untold or undiscovered stories from the Central Valley. On November 17th, these short films were showcased at Maya Cinema, including the film of Fresno State alumni, Jason Young. So how I found the subject of my film, his name was Jeffrey. He, I met him on another, like, another set I was DPing for. It was my friend George's short film. So then um, that's how I met Jeffrey. And then he was just openly telling someone else his story. And then the way he was telling it, it just felt like, it felt like people. He. It felt like he was in the space to talk about it and share it, and how it's like a positive story. So I heard that and how he was with a stranger. So then I was like, you know what? He'll be great in front of the camera. So then I asked him, and he said, yeah. The film Stubborn is about a Valley musician, Jeffrey Holmes, and his struggle with Guillain-Barre syndrome or GBS. He he had uh, Guillain-Barre, and that made him like not be able to, or it, it paralyzed him from the, from the neck down at one point. So after hearing the story and just like really thinking about how it must feel, him being able to play, because he's a guitarist, he also plays some piano, but how it feels to just know a chord that you learned because like that was a, just another tool for you to express how you're feeling at the time. Yeah, then I don't know. That's the, I, well, I thought of it was like. Sh <laughs> the emotional film was shown in a private screening that included Big Tail organizers, film subjects, film directors, and their esteemed guests. It was it was it was really nice seeing all my friends there. So um, it was cool sharing it because you know. I feel like the smaller videos are never really celebrated. Like you make a video on online, you give it, you just take it out there. It feels like you just throw it into the void, which is like, that's cool, I guess. But it was, this one felt like more of an event because I'm like, hey, you guys have to watch this. Because if I post it on the internet, someone's gonna see it, they're gonna see this five minutes, they're like, okay, I'm not gonna watch this. Like, what kind of TikTok is this? And they're like, no. So then um, this one, I'm like, you have to watch it. And then like, now I'm gonna, like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> It's forcing them to interact with what I did. So I think that was like really cool because I'm like, okay, you guys are all here to watch the films, but I want, I want, to, I want to be the one where they're like, oh, that was like the best one. Because like, I think that makes me feel better too. It's like a feedback loop. But it's not, it's not about doing it for the people, but it is cool when people react to it. As far as future projects go, only time will tell what other Valley creatives become inspired by Jason and his work and decide to share their own. You have to make a bunch of stuff because it's not because it's not going to get any better unless you do it. So you, you know. So um, yeah. Like I think it's healthy to watch something. Like I think it's healthy to watch your old work sometimes, and then especially because like if you don't cringe at it, I feel like there might not have been growth. So it's it's good to cringe at your old work. So yeah. So make you can make bad things. Have fun. For Fresno State, <laughs> this is Marco Rosas, MCJ. 121.